hello everybody welcome to this next video on numerical analysis in this video we will discuss about order of convergence of bisection method newton method and in the next video we'll discuss about fixed point method so let us see a bisection method and in bisection method we have already derived this thing pn minus p less than is equal to b minus a upon 2 raised to the power n where n is the number of iteration number of iteration a and b is the interval you start with okay now we would like to know what is order of convergence for that you should know what is the definition which we have discussed in the last video so definition of order of convergence is if limit n going to infinity pn plus 1 minus p upon pn minus p raised to power alpha is equal to lambda where lambda is a non-zero positive constant and it has to be less than 1 if lambda alpha is 1 is it has to be less than 1 if alpha is equal to 1 if this thing is there then this alpha is called order of convergence this is the definition of order of convergence right so let us see here we have this relation derived for bisection method there is a separate theorem which derives this relation so now i claim order of convergence of bisection method is one order of convergence is convergence of bisection method is one right okay so and i have it means that i need to have limit n going to infinity pn plus 1 minus p upon pn minus p raised to power 1 is equal to a constant which is non-zero and less than 1 and less than 1 this is what i need to prove because this is for, from the definition of order of convergence correct so let us see we already have pn minus p less than is equal to b minus a upon 2 raised to power n so this is the bound on error so maximum value of pn minus p is b minus a upon 2 raised to power n. So this is the worst case scenario. So I can take this as my error. So if I take pn minus p, because if I prove that in the worst case scenario order of convergence is 1, then obviously for uh, when this is not the case, then also order of convergence is maybe more than 1, but um, it is almost equal to 1 because convergence is very slow in uh, uh, bisection method. So it is no, not that your actual error is far away from the uh, maximum bound, right? So I, I assume that this is b minus a upon 2 raised to power n. So pn plus 1 minus p is going to be b minus a upon 2 raised to power n plus 1. Therefore, pn plus 1 minus p upon pn minus p is going to be b minus a upon 2 raised to power n plus 1 upon b minus a upon 2 raised to power n so you have limit n going to infinity pn plus 1 minus p upon pn minus p raised to power 1 is equal to limit n going to infinity 1 upon 2 you this will cancel and n power will cancel this is half so you get limit n going to infinity pn plus 1 minus p upon pn minus p raised to power 1 is equal to half a non-zero constant non-zero positive constant less than 1 so by definition order of convergence of bisection is 1 so by definition hence by definition order of convergence of bisection method is 1 bisection method is 1 now let us see the order of convergence of newton's method order of convergence of newton's method order of convergence of newton's method so you know newton's method is xpn plus 1 minus is equal to pn minus f of pn upon f dash pn this is uh, uh, i claim that 
order of convergence is two under certain conditions so let us see what are those conditions under certain conditions okay so uh, for newton's method order of convergence because i don't have any such result as i had in bisection method i'll uh, go in another way so what i will do suppose p is my exact root let p is the exact root so we have f of p is equal to 0 so i can write it as f of p minus pn plus pn so what i have done i have added pn pn is your nth iteration and i have subtracted pn so and now i will write it as f of pn minus f of pn plus p minus pn okay and i'll call it as h and now i'll use taylor's series so you will have up to two terms so i'll write it as f of pn plus p minus pn into f dash pn plus p minus pn square by 2 factorial f double dash at cn equal to 0 so this is the remainder term where cn is a number between p and pn so cn is a number between p and pn so you have this situation this is your c uh, uh, this is your p this is your pn and somewhere here is your cn right okay now this is you divide it with divide it with f dash pn provided f dash pn is non-zero so you'll get f of pn upon f dash pn plus p minus pn plus p minus pn square by 2 factorial f double dash cn upon f dash pn equal to zero so you get get take this on the another side okay you'll get p n minus f of p n upon f dash p n this this will become positive this will become negative and this will become negative is equal to this term this is p minus p n square upon 2 factorial f double dash c n upon f dash p n now what is this this is your p n plus 1 by definition so this is p n plus 1 minus p is equal to p minus p n square upon 2 factorial f double dash c n upon f dash p n so you'll get p n plus 1 minus p upon i'll take modulus so you have p n minus p square doesn't matter which one you are writing first is equal to 1 by 2 f double dash c n upon f dash p n now you have to take the limit now take the limit limit n going to infinity p n plus 1 minus p upon p n minus p square is equal to limit n going to infinity half f double dash c n upon f dash p n now if these functions are continuous which we assume then it is it is equal to limit f double dash limit of c n upon f dash limit of p n now tell me what is the limit of p n what is limit p n so p n is a sequence converging to p so limit of p n is p and what is the limit c n what is limit c n can you guess this is quite simple you have the situation that p c n is a number between p n and p and you are saying that p n converges to p it means that p n minus p becomes zero as n tends to infinity so what will be c n minus p c n minus p will also become zero as n goes to infinity because if this distance this particular distance is going to zero then this smaller distance is obviously going to zero so it means that c n goes to p as n goes to infinity so this limit is also p so this expression becomes half f double dash p upon f dash p therefore you get therefore you get limit n going to infinity p n plus 1 minus p upon p n minus p square is equal to 1 by 2 f double dash p upon f dash p correct okay now you if it means that if f dash p is non-zero and f double dash p is non-zero 
then this is equal to lambda which is a non zero positive constant and this this is it means that it means that f of p should be zero because p is the root you are looking for but f dash p f double dash p they are non zero it means that p is a simple root it means that p is a simple root simple root matlab uh, it it has multiplicity 1 it has multiplicity 1 right so you get limit n going to infinity pn plus 1 minus p upon pn minus p square equal to lambda and this is non zero <coughs> positive constant if p is a simple root so we get that when p is a simple root when p is a simple root then newton's method has order of convergence newton's method has order of convergence 2 okay so in this video we discussed about bisection method it has order of convergence 2 and then you have newton's method it has order of convergence sorry bisection method has order of convergence 1 and newton method has order of convergence 2 in the next video we'll discuss about order of convergence for fixed point method thank you